some of our most beloved movies in all of history are full of wickedness and, and, and actually mocking God. You look at, at movies that, I mean, everybody's seen. You look at The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is one of the most God-hating movies that there is. It, it is one of the worst movies ever made in all of history. And you go, oh, because there's a witch in it. The witch is the least of our problems. You start off uh, with, 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 with the young little rebellious girl running away from home doing stuff, you know, and her family loved her. But, but you know what? They kind of make a game and she meets a little snake oil salesman. And he's a crook and you know he's a liar and a fake and you know it. And then all of a sudden she gets whirled away in a storm. The storms come in our lives. And all of a sudden now she goes into this little world and here's these people and they revere and worship this Oz. And, and they tell them that you, you need to go to the Emerald City. Well, I read something in my Bible about a book uh, made of beautiful stones. And the only way to get there, you got to follow a yellow brick road. And I read in my Bible about a place called Heaven. It's got streets of gold. And it mocks it. And all the people that worship it are little midgets. Little funny, funny midgets. Would you make fun of them? We represent the Lollipop Guild. And they're all just they're little cartoon characters. And, and, and they're little midgets who have faith in this Oz. And you look at, at these little midgets that are just funny, just to be laughed at. They're just cute, aren't they cute? Running around in munchkin land. Following the yellow brick road. And then you look at Oz. The great and powerful Oz. And then little dog is the only one smart enough to finally figure out that it's that same fake that we met before. The snake oil salesman. And he's just a stinking fake. And he's the one pulling off. Oz is not real. Oz represents God. And that snake oil salesman represents the preacher. He's the one pulling all the strings. He's the only thing scary about God. Why would God be scary? And really, He can't do anything. And, and you know, in the end, isn't it a sweet message that you could just click your heels? The answer was inside you all along.